Hey guys, Danny is back with another build video. This is the Orcish, the Brute Orcish Warrior, or the Orcish Brute Warrior, however way you want to say it. This character will be mostly will be mostly focusing on the two-handed skills and the heavy armor skill. You can also add in light armor if you want to add uh, light gauntlets or light or light uh, leggings. But you will most likely want uh, heavy armor for all kind of things because there is a perk that you get more armor if you have all heavy armor. Um, armor equipped. Now, you can either have a selection of three different things, war axes, war hammers, or steel greatswords, or great greatswords in general, but I've chosen steel war hammers, uh, just because war hammers are just better looking for this build. You can have either the Daedric Warhammer, Volundrug, or the Champion's Cudgel. Now, this character mostly enjoys using his Volundrug just because it, it, it just destroys people easier, and that's what this character likes. But, he is always nice to civilians, however, if he is interrogated for a battle, he will always go for a battle, and he will not lose. This character is a tank. He, he will absorb any kind of damage. It will also be played on a depth difficulty, but he will also be dealing a lot of damage. Also, the reason that you want this to be an orcish character is because you get five more points into all the heavy armor perks and light armor perks and so forth. And also because he has Berserker Rage, which you do double the damage, but you also receive half less damage to yourself. So you're pretty much a, a complete tank. You don't lose anything. This character will not be doing the Dark Brotherhood, the Thieves Guild, but he will he will be doing the Companion so he can increase his two-handed and his heavy armor. He can become a werewolf, but that is not suited for this build. He will not be doing the Dawn Guard DLC, but he will be doing the Dragonborn, DLC to see what kind of new things he can face. The reason he won't be joining the Dawn Guard DLC is because he will be fighting vampires on the way and he enjoys killing vampires and if he joins the Dawn Guards he will stop the vampires which means that he will not have any more vampires to kill. So you need to keep the Dawn Guard DLC active so more vampires can come so this character can enjoy killing those um, vampires. Now, like I said again, this character is nice to all civilians, however, if he is faced for a battle, he will not lose. Now, I'm not sure if I should put a backstory into this. I haven't received any information, but most likely next character, I will do um, a backstory. Now, if we get into the perks, you will need 100 for smithing. So if you want to have steel armor, you can always have steel armor. You can change it. Uh, all the time. If you want to look like more of a Dwarven or have Dwarven armor, you can always have the Dwarven perk. If you want to be, if you want to have what I've had and have Orcish smithing, so you can look more, have have more Orcish armor, you can always do that. If you want to have rather ebony armor, you can always change it to ebony, but however, that requires a much higher, much higher um, skill. You will need 80 for that. Now, if you'd rather have elven armor, if if that, if that suits you better, you can always have the elven. And same with the advanced armors, if you'd rather create scaled and plated armors. So if if that just looks cool, you do you don't have to do the helm or the chest plate or the gauntlets or anything. And if you rather have glass, same same deal. If you'd rather have glass, you, if you want to look better with glass, uh, you can always do that. And the last one you'll be wanting is the Daedric smithing because. The Daedric Smithing is just great. You want to skip the Dragon one because I feel like he wouldn't look that good. Now for the Heavy Armor, you'd want it out of 5 out of 5. I just didn't make it 2 out of 5. I just made it 2 out of 5 because it was it was very hard getting Heavy Armor up to 61. Now 25% Armor Bonus. See, this is the reason why you want all Heavy Armor, Gauntlets, Chest, Leggings, whatever. Uh, and 50% like Star of Tower of Strength. Uh, you you will not get staggered. 50% uh, chance, that's really good if you think about it. The block, you can put up to 5x5 five five and you can get power bash. Blocking is just for if you're low on health and you need to get away. Now, the two-handed is the main skill that you want. Barbarian, if you, so you can do twice as much damage, which will make it about 120, I believe so. Now, 25% less stamina is great because you can save more stamina to do more power attacks and forward power attacks and all that. Now you can also uh, choose between the Skull Crusher, which is what I've chosen for the Warhammers. You can do Deep Wounds, which uh, of course is a great sword perk, and you can also do Limb Splitter, which is for the battle axes. Um, and this is also great because you can decapitate enemies' heads, which just looks cool, in my opinion, anyway. And you can also do Critical Damage, which is double damage, which you can destroy opponents easier with just one hit. Um, 
and same with sweep but it does it hits all targets in front of you so if you're in a massive swarm um, well there you go you pretty much just killed them all and you get a 25% chance to paralyze the target which is great so you can just keep bashing them and do whatever you want while they're on the ground um, this, this character will not be doing any of the sneak skills or the magic skills unless you want to have stone flesh or you'll rather have more of a um, if you'd rather have speech you can do pickpocket if you want to steal uh, other people's weapons however you will be caught because of the noise of this heavy armor now this character will also not care of which race he is uh, which race he is facing if he is challenged and interrogated he will finish the job now this character obviously stands by standar which is i believe how you pronounce it and he does not care about any other gods as he does not believe in any other gods except for standar he 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 is completely okay with hearing about um Talos and all the other kind of gods, but he would rather keep his opinions to stand up because that's how he was grown up with. Now, I need some help because I don't know if you guys want a backstory for the next upcoming builds. Um, I haven't really received any information about um, a backstory, but I might add in a backstory for the next build. The next build's going to take a while. This build took easy uh, took a little while because there weren't as many perks. Uh, that I needed, I only needed about four or five or or, or something like that. But um, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is, like I said, um, doing build videos and then doing other videos and then doing another build video and then doing other um, type of videos. But I may change that up. I may stop doing the build videos once I feel like uh, it's good that I've stopped. Like it's a good time to stop doing the build videos because some people might not on, uh, might not enjoy it. But I've seen some pretty good things. Um, I see people enjoy the build videos, but anyway, this has been the Orcish Brute Warrior. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please leave a little like on the video. It takes literally two seconds, and I will see you all in the next build video.